Imagine trying to get this done. Ambulance again. <laughs> we can try. Did we get the drain cleaner? All right, we need two more, um, two more coffee beans, all right? I'll sort this later. Hey, Perth, how much do you feel like should be a good average on how much money you should make per rate, PMC and SCAV? I don't think it should really matter unless you're trying to farm money. Like if your whole purpose was to go in a raid and make money, you should make over a million every raid. 500k to a million minimum. But if you're just playing the game just to get your quest done and all that, it doesn't really matter. Crash site damaged house. Well, our main objective is to go. Uh, mystery fish, thanks for those 26 months, dude. Remember to like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks. 100k for normal people. No, really. Like, you, you go into this map with a big backpack. You should just grab everything. And then eventually you'll start learning what's got better value. And should make a million a rate. Your scav runs, I've, I say this like a, like a broken record, but your scav runs really should. Finally decided to get it. Thanks for the content and your Discord. It has been a great help. Thanks, nice, dude. My pleasure. Thanks for the uh, the two months. In all seriousness, if 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 you're playing the game a lot, unless you're learning a new map using your scav, your scav run should pretty much only be. You spawn into whatever map you like, me, it's it's factory, and you run straight to the extract. That's it, that's your whole scav run. You run straight to the extract and pick up anything along the way. You don't deviate from the path, you just like, whatever crate or boxes you run past on the way to the extract, you just loot those ones and that's it. Because the PMC is where you want to progress, right? So you want to spend as much time playing on your PMC as possible. Enjoying the lo-fi beats. Thanks, best pestilics, pestily moist. Go ahead, man. I think there's someone in here. Hello? Who do you reckon that is? If you are happy and you know it. Yes. There's so many spawn points. They're all in like really wanky spots.
This is the biggest troll mission. Because there's like 25 different spawn points in this map. Or in this area for it. EFT wiki audio file. First spawn. All books as you left, enter on the left. All books as you enter, these. Been really enjoying the hardcore Actually, series. the speaker on, Thinking there it is. about start and hardcore account of my own. Nice. GG's pest, have a good one. Cheers, mate. Alright, where we wanna go? Crash site or damaged house? Go crash site, we can get the um broadcast task done at the same time. Actually, a rig. You think about the mini fourteen being added? Meh. I'm, I'm like, like guns and all guys, but if they didn't add any more guns, but they finished the game, I'd be just as happy. The hardcore series is the best content I've consumed in so long. Love watching your VODs after a hard day's work. Keep it up, mate. Nice, bro. Glad you like him. Sniper scav is up. He saw me. Someone lagged out. I'm guessing he had a mate that went into uh, the building to our right. Thanks, dude. Oh, I'm gonna get shot in the back here. Love the stream, man. What do you think the best place to find discros is? Um, ration supply crates is probably the best. Lads, weapon crates. I have them hundred percent of the time. train. There you go, thanks to 300 bits.
Another win. Oh, I needed that win. Ooh. 114k until I get the thick item case, and then we can just start hoarding items. Oh wow, this leads into heaps. So this is the uh, Concordia Security, which is 22,000 XP. Uh, we don't have the fucking 215 key. Broadcast part three, which is uh, near the sewer extract and then big game. Kill Cabana. Let me get a tank battery. Let's just kill Cabana and his guards. So we don't even have to survive the raid. Just got to kill him. So maybe take a grenade in as well. Just going to dump for now. We could craft fertilizers, um, or the capacitors. All right, I want a normal grenade. Cool. Oh, lame. Lame. Never know what to say here. Uh, you don't have to say anything, bro. You say it best when you say nothing at all. I'm gonna keep the orb, even though we don't have good mags for it. 10 rounders, that's all we need. <sighs> all right, streets. So we can do Cordia security. We could do security room and what else? You know how you get the achievement for killing Zarachi, right? Is, um, do you lose rep for killing him? Is it like rep with fence or something? Is it a lot? How much rep do you lose for killing Zarachi? 0.05, that's nothing. I saw Ghost Freak um, had killed him 15 times. Is it hard to kill him? We'll get broadcast done just here. Collapse Crane Expo. It is hard. Really hard. What makes it so hard? Do I run past? Need one of them. Rent boy. Too busy. Thanks for the five pounds. Condensed milk that we want. Hunting matches the rig. I thought you could kill him without crossing the bridge. Like there's a spot you can get to or something. We did find the WD-40 out. I suppose we take a splint. Can't hurt. Don't need MREs. All right. What is our objective? I actually don't know. What is our objective? 
Are we just going to try and farm the keys? Like 215 and that? I suppose we could go over there and just kill scavs, but... Oh, we didn't hand over the guitar pick. My lord. All right, we're heading out. We're going straight for expo. Why MVD? Chat, you had one job. One job. Crowd salute. Watch, watch Colin be here. Doesn't look like it. Hey, oh, let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Tony Hawk soundtrack there. He was running. I might go by terror group and then see if I can grab any guns out of the... Uh the armory. Oh, please don't shoot me. Alright, can I just run past you? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, dude. What, are you working on a quest or something? Or? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I tell you honestly, I'll be honest. You know the pick that you get from the audio file room? I picked, I picked up an item and then well, I forgot to hand it in. So I'm just running to the extract to hand it in because I, I went back in oh, with it. No. I know. Horrible. Thanks, bro. Love you. Bro, he was so good. He heard the sadness in my voice when I said, please don't shoot me. Dead Pine, thanks so much for the uh, the raid. Hope you had a great stream. Double M4. Oh, 
Blue green smoke. Take that into a different raid. <sighs> oh, am I AK? AK-102. Don't I need that for a gunsmith later? Deadpoint will tell me. Guys, Deadpoint's also doing a uh, hardcore playthrough. But he goes to cap at every wipe, unlike me. What's this mag? Oh, I'm just getting out. Another weapon crate here. Gunsmith 17. Just pop the flare, or a flare. Uh, pop the flare and then the sniper scav killed him. Obviously stuffed up his flare. <laughs> cool, got guns. Guns. It was really good, you're nearly done with setup. Oh, I think I've got three kills left of setup. Uh, how's my day been? Horrible. Horrible. <laughs> I got smacked around so much early. We're talking like a lot. And my internet died right when I was loaded into a raid. So I lost uh, my loadout. The one good loadout I had. Yes, I'm turning in the pick. Yeah, and the stream's died three times so far today. Hasn't been good. I don't watch other people's YouTube content. Depression. I don't have time. All right, now this quest we have to have a discussion about. All right. Oh, what am I doing? The vendor. Do you need a mag in the AK-102 for the gunsmith? We take this flare. There's an extract option. All right, so these can go down the bottom. What's the bomber hat quest? Eliminate any scav while wearing a bomber beanie and ray benches in, in streets. Is it worth it though? It's a lot of XP. Okay, the question I have right now is, do we go through the window for this? And the only reason I'm even thinking about doing it is because BSG knew about this right on the very start of the wipe and they did a patch one month into the wipe with a heap of fixes and they didn't fucking fix it. So why, if they didn't fix it, does that mean it's meant to be in there? Like, I can't imagine it being that hard of a fix. Just move the window a little bit over. Bam. It's a little bit different to climbing through roofs and stuff. Like, it's just a window you can climb through. Like, that's what I'm, make, I'm making it very clear here. It's not like I'm, you know, in Shoreline, how you can go through the railing of the doors, like, and it's some weird little railing, like, uh, thing to go through. Like, it's not like you're, you're like, teleporting through walls. It's just a straight through open window. We'll see what spawn I get. And they'll see what my conscience feels like. I would love to get level 35 today. Reserve drop down window has been since reserve launch. So it's meant to be, you know? I don't know. Honestly, I don't even know if BSG knows that you can drop down. Because <laughs> there's a key RBAK and they've got a bar to trade for it. It's so... Sometimes I think BSG just are way out of the loop with some stuff. Like they don't realize it. Through the ceiling is no bueno. Agreed. Agreed. Like if I had to teleport through a wall to do it, then no. Or a ceiling, no. But... If you are literally just climbing through a window to do something, you do to get out. No, you just go through the main window. I've done it. I've just gone out the window. It takes a few attempts, but you just got to go right to the corner of the window. You could just hide in a bush for set up and finish set up in like a few raids without dying just because you'd be able to hide in the bush and ambush people. Because like part of me would like to do that, but I feel like it would be very boring to watch. Like hide near Ruath and just 
wait for someone to head there. And the second you try it, no one will pass you. Oh, look at the spawn we got. Need a 215 key. If we do a couple following cabinets each raid. The, the Priestler next to the five months. There's no point doing the pier on that map either. So here comes the big question, I guess. Do we do it or not? One person that says don't do it. I don't need defuel for anything, I don't think. DP is good. We've got the last coffee we need. Where's that extract? So we actually know where we're going. Expo or collapsed crane? Expo is probably safer. Uh, we need... Do we need salt? GG. I want to do something a bit different. I've done street and in change today with not much success. It's been a really hor horrible day. We could get surveillance done with just 22,000 XP. That still means we need 50k. So what can we get 50,000 XP by doing? Man, so much opens up if we actually get through a sh like a shoreline raid. 
with the doors open. But it's like, if the doors aren't open, we're kind of just stuck. Like, we need to get into the West what, 219. Let's just, let's just do this. And just see what happens, you know? You know what? Let's org it. Let's org it. Here we go. We just have to take our time to resort and then hope that resort's full of stuff we need. And if not, well, then we just failed. You should never use Nair on your balls. I must use Nair hair removal cream on my chest and it got on my nipples. And let's just say I had painful nipples for like four days and I've never used it since. Why would you do that to yourself? I get, um, I don't know what it is, like a rash in the center of my chest. So I, I generally either like shave my chest or trim my chest hair with a, with a, like a, with a clippers. And it helps prevent it. I tried using there once, never again. You can smell the hair burning. That's how bad it is. I could have just ran to the right and, um... So just hide in the resort. I got like a really good resort spawn one, but I don't need, I need the doors opened. Maybe I can ask someone, excuse me, sir, can you open the door, please? Uh, escape from Tarkov.com is where you, you buy and download Tarkov. I suppose I could sit in admin. Do some admin farming. And just uh, thanks for the uh, 13 months and go on unsubscribe bro. So don't forget. This is the site that I used when I was in the army. At least for the first six years, five years. Certainly need PCBs. Do 
And I can ask someone to open the door for me. What do we got here? It's a pistol. Oh. I have like no doors. West 306 and East 306. Sorry, no keys, I mean. And no doors. I have no doors. The donut ring gives me memories from my time in NZ mm. Army Pest. Not sure if they are good or bad memories though, lol. <laughs> They're memories. They were the best of times, they were the worst of times. I always refer to my army time as, uh, like you always remember the good times, but there was a shitload of bad ones. I suppose getting the fertilizer task done would actually give, um, someone's in west, uh, east. What key that is? That's not a shoreline key. Cottage? It could be cottage actually. Could that be cottage? It's West 220 or 216 or 219. That's a win for me. Should have keys one there. All right. I am going to just sit here and wait five minutes. Maybe even 10. So what do you want to talk about? Q&A time. You know, the interesting thing about this is there's no actual, there's nothing to, there's nothing to actually click to go forward. It's just how much you squeeze the trigger in. Uh, do you drive the lighter? No, I don't. It's sitting in the uh, shed ready to get sold. I haven't put it up for sale yet. Best way to remove hair from your balls if it's not hair, nares. Razor? I don't know. Where is Dawn's 114? Nearly level 30 and still hunting it. Hardcore. Uh, I found mine in a filing cabinet, I think, or a jacket. There is a spawn for it in uh, the car at checkpoint in the jacket. But it's just hasn't been popping up really often. Um, I would highly suggest just going late into dorms and you'll find someone with her already open. Are the cheaters gone? I don't think so. I don't know. They're probably never gone, bro. You wax your head sometimes. Never. What's the best mid-range gun this fight? Mid-range. Anything full auto. Full auto right now is just very, very, very strong. Because you don't you don't have to hit them. But you can hit them in the thorax, you'll still kill them because there's no armor. Right? Most of the most of the chest now is not protected. It's just a plate in the dead center. So just spray towards the chest and the recoil goes up a little bit and hits them or around the plate, hits them, they die. That's simple. So any of the four auto guns. What are we waiting for? Um, the idea is to hopefully have someone run over to the west wing and open all the doors that we need open. Why sell the larder? I just don't have any use for it, really. Do you actually stream from a kitchen? No, I'm currently streaming from... You should be able to see me. See my hand on the right-hand side? That's me there. There's a 0.75 second delay on that camera. Any big plans for 2024? I'm going to try and do a really consistent Monday to Friday stream. I'm aiming to get a million subs on YouTube and I'm going to spend a lot of time with my family. We currently have 
two trips planned to go away in the first half of the year and a couple of big trips in the second half. What is next after Creators Uncut? I don't know. I might do another one. Have you ever owned a tracksuit? I own one in real life. I've, you mean in Taco? I've done it twice. Uh, so this week you're going to get the um, scav guide and either the streets map guide or the streets loot guide. I kind of want to do the map guide first because to be simple, it's like it, it, I don't have one and it needs to be there. Uh, there's a question about Albania. When, when are you coming back to Albania? Honestly, I'd love to go back there with my wife. Uh, I'm not sure when though. Maybe in a few years time. Hey, hey Pets Bro, your opinion on the DT 990s versus the 1990s, is it worth the premium? If you've got the disposable income, I'd say yes, um, because I find them a little bit more comfortable, well, actually not a lot more comfortable, but also really, uh, just really high quality. In saying that, people won't agree with me. I think after about two, three hundred dollars, so think of it as like a tier of like how much uh, value for money you get. Like you can get exceptionally good headphones for two or three hundred dollars, the difference between like a $300 headset and like a $600 or a $1,000 headset is like minimal percent. Like we're talking 5% better, but you're paying like double the price for. Like there's trashy headphones. There's really good for like bang for buck headphones around the two $300 mark. After the two $300 mark, you're really just paying like the diminished returns are exceptional. But, you know, unless you work in the music industry or you're like an audiophile, I think the... The term is, it's kind of like, or you have headphones on all day, like I do. That's why I, I splurged in 2020. I've had these since 2020. I splurged and bought them because I thought, you know what? I wear headphones every day. I want to buy a nice pair. And that's what I did. Uh, these are Bayer Dynamics DT 1990s. But honestly, I would only recommend it if you have a really good disposable income. How was your trip to Denmark? I missed the chance. Uh, it was really lovely. Actually, Denmark was one of the countries I said I could live in. Not all year because obviously it gets cold in winter. But I don't know. just had this vibe about it that was like really nice. Any concerns of Game of Dent? It's a, it's a myth, bro. Uh, I've, I've technically been to Germany, but apparently the rule is if, unless you've done a piss in the country, you, have ne you haven't been there. So no, I've flown into it. I've, I've crossed the border, but I've never like spent a lot of time there. I haven't been to Switzerland yet. Uh, I have a Go XLR I'm plugged into. Do you encounter big fuck-off spiders much being from Oz? Sometimes. I've, I've got the biggest... You call them Black Widows in America. Uh, we call them Redbacks in Australia. I've got the biggest Redback I've ever seen in my shed. I haven't killed it because it's the biggest redback I've ever seen. Like, it's probably yay big. You know, like it's... Actually, I'll take a photo. I'll put it up on the, on the gram or something. I've just been keeping it there because it's just so big. Thought it, you know, kind of deserves to live. That dude sounded like he was running away. Can't what spend forever. Uh, boop, 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 boop. No idea. Damn it. Do you think Lighthouse is tough or is it just me? Nah, it's a shit map. It's really shit to try and get anything done. The, all the good loot's like in the chalets and that, all the water treatment, and you got to fight everyone to get to it. We need a defib for a quest. What's that teapot? Oh, we got it! We got it! We got the key! Ah, oh, this is good. It's actually huge. I reckon the other key might be cottage. Alright, let's get out. So, extract. 
We might as well just go for. I keep getting emails from Starlight. Hands. When are we doing another charity palooza? We a loser? Um, when do I want to do another charity? I'm I'm working it out how I want to do it, but it. I need to talk to my wife about it. The idea would be, we are we try and get to the two million point, because I think we're around we're somewhere between one point seven and one point eight million. So, we do a big event that try and raises the last two hundred and fifty k or whatever it is. We need the 216 door open for um, Lenley's. Because Lenley's part two is a vertex and that we need to farm from Lighthouse. Yeah, so Lighthouse, the issue with Lighthouse is like you got to go to the chalets to farm vertexes. So there's a lot of people there. There's quests where you have to kill scavs in the chalets and stuff like that. So people are trying to get their scav kills there. It's just one of those maps. It's just, ugh. Ugh. You know? What is like, keep them. like water treatment but the rest of the map can fucking solve well in saying that hey mate I hate water treatment <laughs> is there any more keys that we need for this quest line we need to do E328 or utility Because we've got East 306, so that gets us past one of the spa tour or wet job tasks. I'm trying to think of any other tasks that we need. Oh, sorry, any other key that we need? <sighs> Just practice, bro. Like, I, I know it sounds sucky, but... The best thing you can do is learn how to make money. So learn the value of like how every square, like the value of each square in that. So for example, if, if you loot an item, you want it to be at least 10,000 rubles a square. We need, we need West 216 for um, Lendlease. All right, so ambulance is done. We'll get the fatality less level, which is nice. Combat medics done. And this gives us junkie, which is a woods task, which is pretty straightforward to do. We could easily do that. It's an extra bit of XP. If spa tour done, just huge. Part five. So now we just got to go to the bunker, grab the key and leave. And then this leads to RBST, which gives us more quest items. We're gonna do fertilizer, which is done now. 17,000 XP for that. When do we get a plushie? Well, oh, it's a good, good question. I've never considered it, but would something, would you guys wanna buy one? Plague Dr. Plushie? Yes. Okay.
Oh, it has your face mask, of course. I want one, Daddy. Daddy, I want a plushie. I'll message my son. Daddy, I want a plushie, Daddy. All right, still need 100k for skier. 29k. If we do this task, which is six and a half, I'll be able to hand in the next two straight after it, I believe. Maybe. What are we doing? Wet job? Spa tour. Spa tour six and seven. Six is the US dollars? Yep. So we can hand that straight over. Seven is... We don't have any propanes. We've got the alkaline. We've got the corrugated hoses and the morphine. We don't have the propane. So we'll have to go get some propane. And that's the one that gives RBST. So that's going to have to be done as a priority. We still need to find the orb keys as well, which has been painful. But at least we'll be able to get revision done. So we get this task done, head over the cash, go find two propane, and then we can get revision done. Huge. Huge. This day went from being horrible to actually decent. Can we have your map rankings? Factory. That's it. Factory is the map. That defib was a huge find too. That was junky. Is Lighthouse as bad as I think it is? Okay, so if there was like three categories of map being like awesome, okay, and crap, the awesome maps would be streets, ground zero, factory, maybe customs. The okay map would be probably customs, reserve, labs, and then the ship maps would be shoreline, lighthouse. Have I missed any? Woods? Woods would be okay map. Inchange would be an okay map. It's a bit between okay and shit. If there was zero cheaters in Tarkov, labs would be great. If there was completely zero cheaters in Tarkov, but it's just not the case. Now we've got a long run ahead of us. Any reason you have shadows maxed? I don't know. Why do I have shadows, Max? Don't know. How many labs run you done this hardcore? Zero. I died with that labs access card in streets, didn't I? I was looting the... Food current. Pretty bad spawn for what we need to do. I might run up here and just see if we can get some propane while we're here. And then I'll run across to the bunker. Can you get tank batteries in this map? In this area? Anyone seen one? It'd be cool if you could. Yes. Your stream quality worse than usual? Eh, shouldn't be. What was the thing I needed a hand drill for? There's a propane. We got one more propane. I'm leaving. Stash? No, it wasn't stash. It's was something else. 
like the gym or something. Did I ever get the sledgehammer out? I did. Weapon rack. That's the one. What, did I, what am I missing from the gym? Find me a propane. Pretty sure it's Xeno's I need. Can't remember what for. This is Shoreline. Hunting matches is another rig. Oh, we can ID these now, by the way. Co it is Cottage! I think I heard someone. Getting the weapon rack upgrade would actually be quite nice just so we could spam like some guns in there to hold on to. Hi, hi. How was your weekend best? Hope it was really well. good. My five-year anniversary of my wife. Nice. As in five-year wedding anniversary. Uh, was it helixes we needed? We need that.
Uh, the one J Mac, thanks for the five gifted, and yeah, Hall TV. I'll look at it later, bro. If you can DM it to me, it'll be better than putting in general chat. We got a really bad spawn to head to the bunker. Like, we would have had to traverse the whole map. We got this spawn with lots of good loot. If we can get the, uh, if we survive this, we got the hand drill. Scavs. Is that a 1, 2x on the default org scope? 1.5, sir. It's 1.5 and it's atrocious. Atrocious. I don't mind it. Sir, leave. I knew we needed one of those Xenos for something. I wasn't sure it was the wall or not. I knew it was something. Yeah. And this is making it so we are, at the moment, we're losing 12%. It's going to take 12 hours. We're losing 12% uh, experience points. That's being done. The weapon rack, we still need, we need two more of these. Five blue tape. So five blue tape and some more ceiling foam. All right, we go back in. Again. We could probably get, we need one more green eagle. Green Eagle. We can get another ammo case. All right, we go back. More cash. Do we need drink? Oof, we got a bad spawn again. We have to go to the other side of the map. The mad teacher, thanks for seven months. Insomniac, thanks for three months. What do you work with besides streaming or what did you do before streaming? I was in the army for eight years in the infantry. Then I was a firefighter for a year. And since then I have done nothing but played video games for the last six years. I get my backhoe on Wednesday and I'll probably become a backhoe operator after this and retire from streaming and just back some hoes. This is silly to run just in a straight line to the extract, but... I'm honestly thinking about just like putting an ad in the paper for anyone who needs some backhoeing just to see what, uh, or, or on the internet on Facebook marketplace or something, just to see if someone gets, <laughs> I'm like, I'm not a professional. I just like backhoeing. <laughs> just see what comes up. So I need some dirt moved. I got you. Once you're done with backhoe, will you come back though? Sir. As the famous one once said. We'll have to see. <laughs> Got no idea. Nah, I'm, like, I'm going to be streaming all year, Monday to Friday. Except for when I'm away on holidays. Which I've got a couple planned. A couple of trips overseas planned. A couple of trips internal to Australia planned. YouTube will be going the whole year, but I can't promise that I'll be streaming every day of the year, uh, every Monday, Friday. I'm planning to take um, in the second half of the year, two months to go visit family interstate. And during that time, I'm just going to take my laptop and film YouTube content. 
for stuff like raid series and guides and all that stuff, but I'm not planning to live stream. I don't know exactly when that's going to be yet. Reza, thanks for the prom. Wally Wonky, thanks for the three months. We're here for it any which way you schedule things. Mm -hmm. Pestily salute. I love I love content creation. I don't love how many hours streaming takes to be to be successful and to stay successful. But I feel like you guys uh, understand enough that there'll be periods where I'll I'll be around and there I won't be and I always try and do the best content I can when I am around. How did that not hit him? Even though I understand I hit the, the, the edge. But like then how did the one straight after it? Oh anyway, moving on. Yeah. I need I need to see my family. <laughs> and I need to spend time with my daughter. That's the priority. And I suggest you do the same when it comes to your work life balance. Make sure you spend time with your fam. I don't have a kid to spend time with that you know of. It's fine a random kid down at the park. Go hang out with them. Org's great, this wipe, honestly. Not with this site, but with a different site, it's actually great. <clears throat> I just thought of something really funny to do. It would be really, like, extremely... Cringe, but funny, and also really inappropriate. <laughs> uh, do it. I have spoken about it once in the past, a long time ago, but it was just seemed like I should do should it looks a little bit blurry um i should do like a oz army rp where we, we all like do orgs and and all that kind of stuff like pretend we're a part of the army I'm doing call outs like i have red ops there and some other army vets that i know that stream <laughs> but then you just take it too far go on pest kill him do some blooding <laughs> you need to get your first blood <laughs> shit like that War Crime Simulator, yeah. <laughs> I 
That would actually be like really funny to do like scripted. I think that like as scripted content, but yeah. I've never done scripted content before. I have considered doing it for like a, a YouTube like type of movie. Not the whole video, but just parts of it like have some cool stuff done, but it's just way too much like time. Like red versus blue, yeah. I've been seven minutes. I've killed a scav with a headshot. Surely that was enough. 45 minutes for shoreline. There's no way I've gotten here in four and a half minutes. All right, it's two more tasks done. Bro Stakovich, thanks for the 40 months. Apparently we have two propane. Done. Huge. Quick job one. This one actually will be a little bit frustrating, but we can get it done. Computer. So we've got the E306 key already. Green corridor. Okay. But we also got, we also got um, RBST. How much would it be to get another one? Yeah, we're still a bit away.